Hello, this is Lolly. I am back with more snap pouch uh, tutorials for you. Here's my collection so far. Um, I've done a tutorial on how to do all of them except for this one, which is the button closure instead of the snap closure. But uh, on my last envelope um, tutorial, my envelope template tutorial, I showed how to do the button closure on an envelope. So you can do apply that to this. So what we're working on now, the last one was the fabric ones. Now uh, I want to show you how to use your washi. So this is such a wonderful project. Don't you love my storage container? I'm going to have to work on something pretty for my pouches. So I need to move this because I need a uh, this underneath my project. So on this one, um, I used cardstock that was not double-sided. Uh, and the reason is that washi is kind of translucent and you can see through it. So I didn't want a pattern underneath this. So this is um, kind of this, oh, what kind of watercolory look. And then the other side was white. So the washi is sticking to the white side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it with a pastel and see what I think. And you can see all these washies kind of go together. And I have them all aiming the right way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing is I want to get this out. And I want to lightly, very, very lightly, get my score lines in there. Let's mark it at four. And then at eight and one eighth. And the reason I want to do that is I don't like having the washi cover right over the uh, the folds. And that's because washi just doesn't bend well. I am going to tape it down, and I taped it down here, and it did kind of okay. I tried to avoid the score line. I still got it on there, but I'm going to try and do a little better. So what we want to do, I'm turning this, and then I'm going to cover this with uh, double-sided sticky tape because um, I have found that, you know, like I said, washi doesn't will stay too permanently. And this will help me to really get a good, a good seal on that and keep the washi in place. So what I'm doing, I don't know, I'm gonna try and zoom in and see. I don't think you can see, can you see my score line there? What I'm going to do is go right, oops, right above it and not on the score line if I can help it. There we go. Okay, and I want to get my other tapes too because I want to get ones to fit right in the excess places here. Okay, now I'm going to go under that score line and go all the way down And I'm going to try and avoid the next score line as well. Okay, what I'm going to do is I see that, um, how much room I have here. I'll go ahead and go to a smaller one now because another length of what I was already using is too wide. This will fit, but only if I, I'm going to peel this one up and then put this one down. It'll overlap just a tiny bit, and I'm not getting this straight enough, but we'll, we're doing what we can. Okay, now, this is my next score line. I'm just going to go under that one now. Okay, so I'm going to burnish all of these tapes. Now, if you want to really get a lot of burnishing done on a large surface like this, this is a really handy burnishing tool, bone folder. I just now got these in my shop. They're also Teflon, so they are wonderful. Okay, so now I have the skinny part, which is the flap right up here. And you'll see that the direction, um, once it's folded, I need the washi to face this way. So I'm going to peel these two off. 
So again, when you're doing this, find the flap part, flap part which is the narrowest of the um, sections. These are three rectangles. This one here is your flap. And you need to put the flap down so that your washi works well on there. So now we need to pick out washi. And the trick to this is to get different ones that work together in a color scheme but are different widths. So all these kind of came in one of those tubes from Michaels and I will get several of those out but not I'm not sorry I'm not going to get the um, glittery ones and there's a reason for that which I'll show later okay so if you have any tape sticking out just fold it back in and let's see what this looks like I want to see how wide this is going to be that's pretty wide See if I can center my dogs on there pretty well here. That's about as good as I'm going to get. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going off the edge on purpose and I'm doing this for two reasons. And one is that I want to make sure I get really good coverage all the way to the end. And the other reason is, well, you're going to see later. <laughs> so now I need a really narrow washi to get right there up to but not on that fold line and that all that tape that we put down is helping to hold that in place okay it's so cute okay now we need to turn that around because this is this part right here and these words need to be or images need to be facing upright Okay, and that is our other score line right there. So let's work on getting these put together. Okay, let's just, so if anything has a pattern with obvious um, one-way designs, this is why we want to make sure that we're going the right angle. Like this one here has words on it, hustle, not today. I need something really striking now. I think it's time for maybe some gold. Okay, I really cannot even find where this where it ends. So I am going to see if I can just poke a layer up and start that way. Oops, that's got a little tear in it. Look where I scratched it. So pull your washi kind of straight. And then put that on there. It's adorable. Oh, let's see. And here is just dogs that are so adorable. So the pink is showing through. I chose pink cardstock. It's showing through a little, but not too bad. You see why, why I got rid of that piece of paper that was under my work because I wanted to make sure that um, the, the washi wouldn't stick to it. Okay, so that's that side. Now we need to turn it back because this part this part is this here and the words need to go up. So what you could do is when you turn it with the flap side down or the smallest rectangle down, you can do this section and that section all facing the same way. This one needs to face the opposite way. Now let's do that process again. I think I'll put the bags down here at the bottom. Again, I'm just missing the fold there. Now I want to get that burnish. I don't want to scratch it. So you can see how this is shaped here. I'm going to use this very rounded end there. And I'm going to start in the middle and go off toward the side. 
like that. It just covers such a wide area. Now what I want to do, um, I could just do this, trim off all of this, and use this as my, um, as my snap pouch. But we know that even though the washi is taped down over time, it still could be lifted up in spots, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to get out the self-adhesive laminating sheets, which is why this one is so shiny. And I'm going to use a whole sheet. Open this up. Peel the back. And I'm going to slightly bend it. Oops, slightly bend it in the middle. And then lay it down. And then smooth it out like that. And I'm going to use the rounded side again to push center out. And I left this part on there, so now I can peel it off of my cutting mat. And I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to trim all of this off. And then we're going to do something fun. I want to get this first. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. And this is important. Um, we're going to do something with this scrap, and so don't... Uh, when you're trimming this off, don't let the self-adhesive sheet stick to itself. Now what I'm going to do with that is make a bookmark. When I trimmed my uh, cardstock, I had this left over, so I'm going to take this and put it right on the edge there. I'm just going to center it right on the edge. I've got something on here. Okay. I'm going to center. I'm going to put this one right up on the edge. I want a little bit of overlap if I can. So, I mean, okay, and smooth that out like that. And I'm also going to trim this off. I still have a little bit of the goop on there that I didn't get off, so I'm going to trim this and make it shorter, but look how cute. Okay, now I'm going to trim the other side off as well. And it's just kind of a whimsical bookmark there. I think I'm going to trim this off because there was something stuck on it, but how cute is that? Isn't that sweet? I mean, it's just all, it doesn't match up and there's holes in it, but it's still, it's really adorable. Okay. And now let's get the rest of this off of there. Now, remember how we had already scored this, so we're just going to fold it on those scores. And But you know what? Since I have added the... Um, I've added the clear adhesive. I want to score it again, just so I can kind of give my adhesive sheet a burnish there, or score, I mean, excuse me, I can score that as well. And it's so much easier to score this if you don't have washi right over the score lines. It just, it, it's a dream to do it this way. And once it's made, you really can't tell that I have just blank cardstock on the ends. But look how adorable that is. So when you're doing it, um, make sure that whatever you want on the flat, that's the one that I choose first for my washi. Okay, now the only thing we need to do is to make our little, um, our little accordion flaps in here. Okay, and those are two by three and three quarter. If you remember from our other one, other videos of this, we score it at half, at one, and one and three quarters. Now, if you want this to be super sturdy, um, before you score it, you could put a coat of Mod Podge on whichever side you want facing in, or you could put clear adhesive laminating sheet on the side that you want facing in, okay? I'm not going to do it this time. Um, I'm just going to glue these in like regular cardstock. So fold towards you, away from you, towards you. Toward, away, toward. 
and then get your glue handy and your binder clips handy. Face this like an M. Make sure you look at the links down below because I have um, links to the previous videos and some of the supplies. Now with it looking like an M, I'm going to go not on the skinny part, which is the flat, but on the farthest edge. And I'm going to adhere this so it lines up on the top and the far right edge. And we're going to add the glue here. The washi is so cute. So the washi that I'm using now and the washi I used on the other one were um, Michaels sells their washi in tubes now and then where all of the washi matches. You know, it's all like a certain theme. And that's where I got this from. It was in one of those tubes that all everything matched. Now, one of the things that I did recently was uh, for my plastic snaps, I got, oh, I love this color here. This is adorable. I think this is what I have to use. Um, but I did get some of the ones that are heart-shaped. This one will work. This one, this pale pink will work. I'll show you the heart-shaped ones. So let me get my pokey tool, my setter. Okay. And I'm going to mark my line here, my dot. Turn this over. I'm going to mark this at three inches. Now I'm putting my ruler at one inch and I'm going to mark the half. So in other words, it's only half inch in, but I I don't like putting it half inch and marking the end because I don't find that the ends of rulers are very trustworthy. Okay, so poke the hole. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to, this is not really going to mark on the, um, this clear sheet, but it will um, it will leave a little dent where I can see where to poke my hole. So on these, these are really fun. I've used one now, and I haven't repackaged them, but I just want to show you these. We still have four uh, four pieces, just like we do in all the other plastic snaps. But one of the four will be a heart so only use one heart and that's the one that's going to be on the outside right here so it's going to go right in my dog's face <laughs> like that and then when you turn it over we need a concave convex and where are here they are here and then one of the plain round ones the plain round one goes under here because you don't really need a heart one for that so one heart, one plain smooth circle, then one concave, one convex. Whoops, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put the convex right there. Make sure my heart is centered and it's not rotated. The black part of this always goes on the smooth part of your um, paper plastic snap. As a habit, I always reach over and try to grab with two hands. It is a mistake. I have broken almost every snap that I have done that to. What it does is it corrupts the plastic here, and then it won't even shut. Now the one that just looks like a regular thumbtack is going to go on the inside here. I'm giving you all the instructions in case this is your first time watching one of these, but I have been doing several of these. All done. That is so fun. So that is just so cute. I love this washi. So I learned from my mistakes on this one, and this was my prototype, and this is the one that I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Again, I used the uh, self-adhesive laminating sheets because it will hold that washi on there perfectly. Many of you, when I did my video showing how I was organizing my washi, said, what are you going to do with all the washi? Can you show us some washi crafts? And this is one for you. And these are great for swaps. Some, several of you have commented that when you 
do a swap with a friend and you want to give them extra goodies, this would be a great way to mail Happy Mail in. Because of the thickness of that, the snap here, it's four piece, pieces of plastic, you can't just stick it in an envelope and mail it. It will have to go in a bubble envelope, but other than that, it is so adorable and your swap partner would love it. Um, if it were just a little bit bigger, you could use it to store your photos, but as it is, it's exactly six inches by four and one eighth. And you can't put four by six photos in it because of that. Um, but instead of doing six inches by nine and a half, which was what my cardstock was, you could do like seven um, by nine and a half. Maybe it would work. Okay, so thank you for watching. I think these are getting cuter and cuter and more and more fun. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to keep an eye out at the thrift stores and see if I find uh, some kind of maybe a plastic storage bin that these fit. And um, if not, I might even just make something out of chipboard. But I love how these are turning out. Thank you for watching, everybody. Make sure you look at all the links down below.